Welcome to the Batorum Local Top 5 Tips to Help Your Business Come Out of Lockdown. I'm Mark Dyer, Co-Director of Batorum Local. And I'm Adam Davey, also Co-Director of Batorum Local. Our first tip is to create a resource plan to match your demand pipeline. Look for two to three months in advance to see what you need by way of resource and plan against that. This will help you establish when you need your people, what skills and when. From this, you can then build out who you need in your business at what time. Our second tip is to think about flexible working arrangements for your employees. Consider what they want, what they need, and what their other commitments might be, and plan against these in line with the business's requirements and the resource plan. What does the new normal look like? Open a dialogue with your employees and think about mapping some of the following into your plan. You may wish to utilise some annual leave that's built up. You may agree to reduce some of their working hours or you may actually need some people to work additional hours, work variable shifts or even staggered shifts. Lots of lobbying is taking place on the possibility of flexible furlough options so do keep appraised of this. Think about continued home working, think about job share opportunities but above all think about flexible working. Our third tip is to recognise your employees' well-being. Some people may have enjoyed and embraced the changes that they've experienced over lockdown, but some won't. Not everybody will, will want to return to the old normal. So think about what new normal looks like. What can you keep and what can you leave behind in terms of pre and post COVID? Remember, people will have established new patterns of behaviour over the past few weeks and months and these will potentially all be thrown up in the air again when you return to work. It's really important to think about how people cope with and react to change. Make sure that you have a can-do mindset and think about what's possible, what's worked, even those things that have worked unexpectedly. And a really practical tip would be go through an exercise of bin, bank and build. Tip four, having looked at your processes and policies as a result of your return to work plans and in, in negotiations with potentially your employees, you may want to document the decisions that you've made. This also includes looking at your existing policies and processes. Some of them may have changed as a result of your new decisions. It's good practice to look at these, restate them, write them down. This enables your employees to understand what's been agreed, gives them the parameters to work within, and as an employer, gives you the opportunity to take any corrective action if and when anything happens that you need to take action on.
Our fifth and final tip is communicate, communicate, communicate. Keep your employees informed of what's happening as they will be concerned about the business as you come out of lockdown. They'll be concerned about their future and the importance of the role that they play. Build their sense of connection to the future and ensure that they feel supported to achieve this. Listen to how they feel and their needs. And most importantly, make sure that they know and understand the importance of the role that they play. Thank you for listening. We hope you found those top five tips really useful to help your business come out of lockdown. Please visit our website for more information and we hope to see you in the future and at the ISBA rescheduled event in September.